呜，小姐，你哪是爱吃高水啦？啊，笨蛋！小蛋姐，缘投有啥物稀奇？有只读一遍，看来看去嘛是有吸引人卡介意。哇、wow, ，so cool， it's so interesting， it is interesting， right？ But could you imagine this culture has gradually declined？ What a pity！ But hey， we are high school students， we have a lot of passions。So today our topic is be the change。High school students innovate the proudest plan for traditional Taiwanese poetry. Here's our content. Last year, I had the opportunity to perform in traditional Taiwanese poetry team run by my uncle. However, every time I performed, there was no audience except God. In fear of place, we had the following purposes. First, what is the feature, origin, and development of traditional Taiwanese poetry? Second, what are the differences between the young generation and old generation in the attitude towards traditional Taiwanese poetry? Moreover, to realize difficulties in inheriting traditional Taiwanese poetry. Lastly, to analyze how effective is our innovative practice plan. The concepts of our project are also highly related to mainland and history courses, English courses, project-based patio course, digital technology application. All of these courses help us stand here sharing with you today. We we also did some literature review and we have learned the origin and development of poetry in Taiwan, which can be roughly divided into five stages. In addition, we did our research through document analysis, survey, and interview. We used questionnaire to survey um, 73 high school students, 32 young adults from 25 to 35 years old, and 30 elders to understand the attitudes of different generations. Also, we analyzed all kinds of literature. Based on the findings, we propose our innovative parties to understand the changes in attitude after innovation of the plan. In the meantime, we also consult one professional in poetry, Wang Injun, who is director of Taichung Sheng Zhuo Poetry Chu. This is our research framework. We used one good preset and poster design to find out if our plan worked. Therefore, we invited all the participants to take the poster after our practice plan. So literature review and data analysis, we found out due to social changes and entertainment of suffocation, poetry gradually became a cultural tradition that only existed to reward girls. Moreover, we found that the younger the students were, the lower the proportion of those who have seen poetry. And the proportion of high school students who are exposed to poetry through various channels is significantly lower than that of the young generation and the elderly. It can see from the figure that the main assistance to which high school students are exposed to poetry is social media. According to the mere exposure effect, high school students' negative attitude to poetry may be due to a lower exposure of poetry. Lastly, after we analyze the data, we have learned that Taiwanese poetry currently faces a crisis of gradually declining. What can we high school students do in the face of this crisis? While interviewing Wang Injun, he said if we want the public show to be remembered, it must be innovative. innovative. Therefore, we made our own participant. We name it Passion Puppet. We have created an Instagram account called Passion Puppet, briefly discussing the basic understanding of poetry. Secondly, we will print the puppet on created products to increase the exposure of poetry, including red envelopes, mugs, etc. We also organize cultural workshops such as experiencing puppet head painting. In addition, we have cooperated with a popular school band to perform on campus every Wednesday at noon since November. To understand the effect of our plan, we invited all the high school students to take the poster after our practice plan. Better yet, in the process, we found that the proportion of high school students who hold negative attitude and in the three aspects has decreased from 24.6% to 36.9%, proving that our plan does work. work! When we show the result of the analysis to one professional in poetry truth, they were very smooth by our dedication. After all these efforts, we had the following conclusions. First, traditional Taiwanese poetry has gradually declined after the rise of various media. Moreover, the young generation scores, which clearly shows their negative attitude towards traditional Taiwanese poetry. Besides, traditional Taiwanese poetry faces the difficulties in its inheritance and development due to social changes and economic prosperity. Last but not least, our action plan is proved to improve high school students' understanding of traditional Taiwanese poetry. Based on the conclusion we made, we have the following suggestions. First of all, high school students could send out a public show club in school. Moreover, 
high school students can attract more young people through social media such as creating short video. Lastly, high school students can fund cross-industry corporations through the creative product. Hey, same more high school students playing the puppet. I know where I can promise to master Wang Injun. That's right, the society is changing. And it's never easy to make it real and keep it cool. One day, we'll bring the change to the world. Here's our references. Thank, Thank you. you.